My name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue, Daniel and the Lion's Death. Let's read. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jewish to their own country Babylon. So God's people disobeyed them, so he let their take, enemies take over. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jewish to their own country, Babylon. <laughs> Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon. He trusts God and prayed them three times a day. God blessed Daniel and him up, and he became a powerful leader in that country. So Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon, and he trusts God that God will rescue their country, Jewish. So Daniel kept praying. Daniel was kept praying to God three days, three times a day. And Daniel, God bless Daniel, and he became a powerful leader in that country. But some of them were jealous of Daniel. Because he's Jewish and also he has very, like, oh, he's a powerful leader. Leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Drus. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown in a lion's den. Daniel Drus agreed, so some of the leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. And the new rule was people can only pray to God. Uh, people can only pray to King Dress. And whoever disobeys will be thrown into the lion's den. And the king agreed. <laughs> this, he was jealous of that of Daniel and knew that. <laughs> Um, Daniel prayed, God, prayed to God every day, so they made a new rule. Question! God blessed Daniel and made him a powerful leader in Babylon. True. God blessed Daniel. He also have to pray to God. Daniel still prayed to God, so he was arrested. Jesus was sad because he liked Daniel. He realized he had been tricked, but couldn't change the rule. Daniel was thrown into the lion's dead. So, Daniel still prayed to God. He knew the new rule, but he still prayed to God. And Daniel was arrested. And the king was sad because he liked Daniel. And he realized he had been tricked. And Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. <laughs> Daniel also, uh, the king also, the king the, the king also couldn't change the rule because it's not unfair.
the lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouth. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. So the lions roared and crept up to Daniel. But then an angel arrived and he was safe all the night there unharmed. God sent God sent angel for Daniel. <laughs> the lions are looking like a cat. Question: Was Daniel arrested and thrown into the lion's den because he prayed to God? Yes, Daniel was arrested and thrown into the lion's den because he prayed to God. Because that was the new rule in that one. But God protect Daniel. At daybreak, King went to see him, see if Daniel was alive. God sent me an angel to save me. Daniel said, the king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den. So that day, at the daybreak, the king went to see Daniel because he was so worried about him. And he was alive, unharmed. So Daniel told the king, God sent me an angel to save me. And the king was like really thrilled. And Daniel was pulled out of the den. <laughs> then King Jesus had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions grumbled them up. King Jesus told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful loving God. So the king, the king had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. And the lion grumbled them up. And King told about Daniel's one true God, living God. The King told about the one true God. When Daniel was thrown into the den, God's angel protect him from what kind of animal? Number one, the donkey. Number two, the eagle. Number three, the lion. Number three was the correct answer. Yes, they I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!